What's up, gang? So I still don't have a whole lot to tell you this week as far as stuff that I've been doing because I've still been doing a lot of rest, a lot of sleeping, a lot of napping, and a lot of recovery. I am on my way back from the gym right now. Today is Sunday. I decided to go today, kind of test the waters and see how things felt. And how things felt is, man, I still didn't really want to be there. In Hypertrophy University, my course, I do have a chapter in there on uh, determining like when, you know, how do you know, like listening to your body, what does that mean? How do you know when you're really recovered? And one of the criteria that I set forth there is you're excited to train. And I'm just not excited to train right now. I'm getting a little bit more excited to strategize and do it, but the act of actually being in there, like I still find myself massively irritated by everyone else in the gym on a regular basis. Now, some of that might just be personality. I'm not sure how much of that's really gonna change over time, but some of it's just the fact that I don't really wanna be in there because I'm still just like super fatigued, not totally recovered and not ready for it yet. I can't force the issue, but I was also on Friday, I recorded a series of chapters for Bikini Blueprint, another course of mine that I have. Um, if you're curious, you can check out 5stardigital.com and read about those, both of those courses plus Macro Bootcamp. And in Bikini Blueprint, I have a module in there that I call Your Physique Roadmap. And it got me thinking about how I would apply that to me because it's a good principle. You know, I've always had a coach myself until this latest prep. I've never really sat down and thought about it in great detail on what my physique roadmap might look like and how what I do today, how that might play into that longer term picture. So what I encourage everyone to do is fast forward, not a year or two, but like five or 10 years. Like where do you see yourself being physique wise five or 10 years down the road? And don't worry so much about like, you know, is that even realistic, whatever, like shoot for the moon and you know, we can adjust as we go. And so where is my physique roadmap five or 10 years down the road? Well, five years down the road is reasonable. 10, down, 10 years down the road, probably retired. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. But where I wanna be in a handful of years, I would say like, I'm, I'm pretty realistic here. Like, I don't feel like I really have an IFBB Pro caliber physique but I would like to get nationally qualified and I would look, like to look competitive on a national stage in classic physique. That's my roadmap criteria for a handful of years down the road. I don't feel I'm, I'm not there yet. I don't feel I'm too far off from that and I feel it's doable. And what I realistically need to do is game the math out a little bit. If you're competing in classic physique or in bodybuilding, it's a numbers game because you know where you sit relative to your weight cap or your weight class so you can kind of game that out. For me, I have a handful of pounds that I can still put on. I can come in a little bit leaner, so I've got some wiggle room to play with there. For women or for men's physique competitors, what you wanna do is look to the higher level competitors in your category and see how you stack up visually. You know, what are the things that you need to focus on? Need more of this, less of this, and put that into your plan. So for me, I know I have a handful of pounds that I can still grow into. So I'd like to gain about four to five pounds realistically. I think that would be fine. Part of it for me is also going to be just staying a little bit leaner so that I don't have to cut down to my cap weight of 209 from 250. It's just, it makes for a long prep. And if I can just stay a little bit leaner uh, over the course of a year, I'll do much better off. So that's part of my roadmap. And then we did the needs analysis here last week, so we know what my areas are that I need to work on. It's quads and back more than anything else, glutes being a kind of a second tier thing on that list along with shoulders. So I put all those things in place and I'm all like, okay, big picture, this is what I need to do. This is kind of where I need to go. So now, what could I be doing now to help me get myself closer towards that goal? And the last thing in the world that I need is half-assed shitty workouts. If I am forcing myself to go to the gym when I don't really wanna be there, I might get a little work done. It's not gonna be a high enough caliber of work to push me closer towards that goal. My training age, another concept that I talk about in Hypertrophy University, is pretty high. My actual age is pretty high too but I'm not new to this. I've been doing this for a long time. And so the higher your training age, 
the higher your level of work has to be consistently in order to make progress. If you're a beginner, if you're relatively new, you can show up to the gym and just fuck around and not really do a whole lot and still make decent progress. If you're a more experienced trainer, you have to show up with a really good plan of attack and a really good clear-cut agenda in order to get done the work that you need to do to grow from where you are at that point. So I'm far enough along right now where I need to show up like ready for work. And right now, when I show up to the gym mentally, I'm just not there. While a workout like today does nothing to get me closer to that goal of where I need to be, it does tell me in kind of an assessment way of looking at things that I'm not recovered enough to be where I need to be to put in that quality of work. So therefore, I just need a couple more days off and that's fine. At this point, taking a couple more days off is going to be the thing that pushes me closer to my goal rather than going in and forcing the issue. So the point being, sometimes less is more. Sometimes the extra rest day is what you need. This ties in to the latest podcast that I put out, 262, about post-show rebound. That's what I'm going through here. So there's a lot of that going on too. Um, but the extra rest day, think about your physique roadmap long term, where you need to go, and then what are you doing on a daily, weekly, monthly basis in order to get you closer to that goal of where you need to be.